piss. Liquid gold. Junk. Bees. More bees. Lots of bees. Question is, do I want the chrome tips? Somebody's been trying to fix lots of coils, lots of intake gaskets. Didn't work. time it was uh, loud because they took the O2 sensor out found it in on the floor so someone was trying to diagnose if I had to say they maybe thought the uh, front cat was clogged so they took off that O2 sensor to try to uncork it a lot of noise a lot of noise over here yeah Bees, bees are biting me. This thing won't even rev up. Not even worth my time. Doesn't even want to die. Fancy looking car in its day. 2006 Ford Fusion V6, fully loaded. You got leather. You got the leather. Sunroof. It's got over 200k on it. Drove on the trailer, foot to the floor. Can't even kill it. Bees. Oh, the wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. Wildlife. Bzz. Boy, oh, nice little bucket of stuff there, eh? Didn't even make them good enough for videos. Not even good enough to make a video. But, three quarters of a tank on the gauge. Suck it all out. Put in old Mrs. Thirsty over here. Because uh, we got quite the load of number one going here. Lots of good iron. Oh yeah. Number one steel. Still get excited when I see it. Even though it's not worth a lot. Got no one to hold the funnel. Nope. Nobody to hold it, so I had to create a friend hold my funnel for me. Still getting caught up on videos. Got some things to uh, explain, tell you about. Come ups. Here's one. Dump body. Haven't talked much about it, but uh, have you ever seen a hydraulic holding tank made from PVC parts from the hardware store and hose clamps? 
Well, now you have. Works. I didn't do it. But I did have to take it apart and slap a bunch of silicone on it because it was leaking. And fluid was running all down the truck and underneath and on the bed and everywhere and onto the ground and not good. Big mess. A lot of noise, a lot of trucks. Backup alarm, come on. Oh, you want to tap the key? All right, tap the key if you want. If you want to. Saturday morning, about 70 degrees up here, <clears throat> northern Maine, so busy during the week, uh, doing all sorts of pickups uh, around town and stuff, uh, going to look at different junk around in the woods, and uh, barely had a chance to process this uh, Ford Fusion and get it ready to go, so... good ride when you go down here. You gotta leave early in the morning and kind of kind of takes your whole day. You know, even if you, you don't make any stops. It's uh, well into the afternoon anyway when you get back. But a uh, nicer, a little nicer ride anyway on a Saturday morning. Uh, you get down near Bangor and stuff and get a little bit of traffic. Uh, on the weekdays, so a little less, I do notice a lot of people coming into town because of the nice weather, trying to uh, get some camping and some fishing and some, you know, some, some outdoor stuff in before, uh, you know, before too long, winter's going to be here, it's uh, bear season up here too. have a desire to get into as far as hunting or anything, but kind of kind of cool to go to the uh, there's a little local general store near me that they do, uh, they tag and weigh, you know, the bears and the moose and whatever hunting season it is uh, so it's kind of cool to see that I've only seen uh, live moose uh, once run across the road up here, but a lot of people have come across them in the, in the grills of their vehicles, because uh, 
one thing about a moose is uh, it doesn't, their eyes don't reflect at night, so with these long dark roads up here, there's no lights or anything, so uh, you can't see that, and uh, they stand right in the middle of the road, a lot of cars get totaled, a lot of people get hurt, some killed, uh, so you gotta watch out for that. I've scrapped a couple cars, still had moose hair in them, so, anyway, got this, uh, 2006 Ford Fusion to go in, looked a lot nicer when I picked it up, it's weird what a uh, day can do, you go back out and you look at it and, uh, realize it's not that nice of a car, but, that thing barely runs something they they were trying to fix something like I was showing you um, so it's not even like anything I could have fun with it doesn't even rev up just uh, basically could have just drained the oil let it seize up but I don't know not too much fun in that it's got a three-piece cat set up on it two up at the manifolds, one in the middle, so we're not going to be, uh, not taking those off, be too, too much time, too many sawzall blades, and yelling and swearing without, uh, you know, with doing it on the ground, so, like I said before, he charges 10 bucks, take them off, run the codes, cash them in. You can fill the cars with metal now and try to make them weigh something because uh, he's paying per ton, but I took that caravan in and it was 150 a ton. Now it's down to like 130 or 135. Um, I got over 10 gallons of gas out of this car. Been sitting around for about a year, but still smelled pretty good, looked pretty good, so I went in the dually, that was empty, uh, I figured, don't really want to put it in the newer stuff, the fuel injector stuff that I got, so should run on that, change the filter out, put a little bit of dry gas or something in there, be okay, so that's about 15 a gallon for regular up here, so that's uh, just about $35 worth of fuel, I think, so not too bad. Early on a Saturday morning, had to uh, treat myself to a little bit of uh, McDonald's breakfast, don't do it too often. Feeling pretty good. Blood sugar is probably too high. Blood pressure is probably too high. But you know, you gotta live every once in a while.
I knew you'd still watch. I knew it. <laughs>